Well, I'd like to thank the organizers for inviting me here today to talk about our company and thank you all for your interest. Uh, Kalos Therapeutics. We're developing uh, new drugs based on the atrial natriuretic peptide or ANP family of peptides. What we're trying to do is harness the natural biological effects and biochemical mechanisms of these peptides. We're trying to improve uh, their activities and their pharmaceutical uh, properties and at the same time maintain their safety profile. Many of these peptides have already been in man, ANP, uh, BNP, the family is shown on the right-hand portion of the slide, KT220, uh, and have had good safety profiles. So we're in the enviable position of starting our drug discovery program with agents that already have known safety. The peptides have, of this family have a number of properties with therapeutic potential, uh, shown here on this slide. We are right now focusing on property number one, which is the inhibition of the proliferation of either mitogen-stimulated cells or cancer cells. And of course, this has obvious implications in the treatment of cancer. But a number of these other uh, biological effects also have potential clinical applications. The biochemical basis of the uh, anti-cancer effects for this family is inhibition of a pathway in cells called the MAP kinase pathway. Those of you who are interested in cancer or in the cancer area will be familiar with this pathway. It mediates a lot of processes, including cell division, and I've included on the slide actually a simplified version of the pathway. So it's quite a complex pathway, but if you have very good eyesight, uh, you can see that leading out of this pathway are four sub-pathways that lead to cell proliferation, and that is what we We believe that uh, this is an important uh, way to treat cancer, and we're not alone. There are a number of companies who are developing or have developed drugs to treat cancer based on blocking the MAP kinase pathway. We believe that a natural inhibitor, however, will be more effective than synthetic drugs. Uh, in order to produce a clinically significant effect, you need to be able to inhibit all four of these pathways uh, leading to cell proliferation uh, to an extent where they decrease cell division and also where they will not be immediately uh, overcome by the disease process. Also, you don't want to inhibit all those other members whose names you can't read and produce unwanted side effects. That's hard for a medicinal chemist to do, to produce just the specificities you want and just the selectivity. But we believe nature, uh, be having been given a head start on this process, uh, has produced in the atrial natriuretic peptide family of peptides a way of blocking cell division using this pathway, which will have the required specificity and selectivity. And this idea seems to be, or this confidence, seems to be borne out by the uh, experimental research in the area. So these peptides have shown positive effects against nine different cancers in vitro. That's human cancer cells grown in the laboratory. And this has been done in nine separate studies. They've shown positive effects in three human cancers grown in animals, it's a more natural setting. Uh, and this has been done in six studies, and one of these was pancreatic cancer. We'll talk about it a little bit more in a minute. Uh, and, they've been, and all of these studies were performed in eight independent laboratories. So it's not the case that we are promoting our own drugs by doing a number of studies. The validation uh, for these drugs as potential anti-cancer agents is broad uh, and deep. So having heard this first part of the presentation, you may be asking yourself, well, why aren't there already cancer drugs? If this stuff is so good, why hasn't someone made a drug out of it already? And I think the answer to that is complex. Part of the answer is that these peptides have been around for a while, so the intellectual property um, uh, surrounding them is not so clear. But I think a bigger problem uh, to drug development is that these are hormones. So they are made to be constantly released and to act locally. Whereas for a drug, you want something that you can give at set intervals, and it will have system-wide effects. Now, of course, you can modify the characteristics of a peptide, but it's rather difficult. Uh, peptides are large. They're much bigger than a small molecule. Uh, these peptides are 20 to 30-some amino acids long, and they have secondary structure. So they, bind, they wrap up into loops uh, and other structures. We have overcome this problem for the atrial natriuretic peptide family of peptides by discovering a motif contained in all the peptides that underlies the clinical effects that we're interested in. We call this the ACM, and it's only eight amino acids long and has minimal secondary structure. So this motif is amenable to modification and to the kinds of 
activities that we do in drug discovery and development to improve activity and selectivity. Uh, also, uh, this is now the basis of our drug discovery efforts and uh, we have filed for patent protection on both the composition uh, and the uses of this motif. Our initial cancer target is pancreatic cancer. As you probably all know, this represents a significant unmet clinical need. Uh, the median survival when this cancer is diagnosed is 16 weeks. It's usually diagnosed rather late, obviously. Uh, it is the second leading cause of cancer death in men, the third leading cause of cancer death in women. There's been a lot of activity to try to find better drugs to treat this disease. Uh, two new approvals have come out in the last 10 years, Tarceva and Araxane just recently. And these drugs improve survival modestly by weeks. But clearly additional drugs with better effects are needed in this area. The NP family peptides are, as I mentioned, effective in treating pancreatic cancer in animals. This shows a xenograph study in mice. On the uh, left-hand panel, this was done by uh, one of the earlier investigators uh, and one of our collaborators, Dr. Vesely. And you can see that KT220, one of these ANP family peptides, and the peptide from the family that seems to have the best activity against pancreatic cancer, was able to essentially eliminate tumors when they were of a very small size. And the tumors did not reoccur when the peptide was discontinued. In a study that we did with uh, TD2, which is another one of uh, Don Van Hoff's groups along with Tijin, uh, we were able to show that the peptide could decrease uh, pancreatic cancer growth significantly, at least as well or perhaps better than the approved drug Tarceva. This shows some of our own data on improving the activity of the ANP family peptides by concentrating, by focusing on the ACM. And what we have been able to do is shown uh, in both of these graphs. On the left-hand side, you can see that we have been able to decrease the length of the peptide and still retain activity. So from a parent peptide of 37 amino acids, we decreased first to 15 by truncating the ends of the peptide, maintaining the motif that we were interested in, and finally, we were able to decrease the peptide down to the size of the motif alone and still maintain activity. The right-hand panel shows that by changing the amino acid composition of that eight amino acid motif, which is quite an achievable, uh, a, a quite an achievable task with a peptide that small, we're able to increase potency. Uh, we're currently in the uh, nanomolar range, 100 nanomolar range, and we're in the process of identifying the shortest and most active peptides which will become our clinical candidate and our backups. Uh, this is our corporate development timeline. We are currently in a fundraising stage to complete our IND enabling work. We hope to file an IND uh, in late 2016. Uh, and if we are able to get rapid review, uh, early approval by the uh, FDA, we could be in the market as early as uh, late 2018, early 2019. These peptides have a number of other applications, as I mentioned, uh, which have clinical significance, uh, treating additional types of cancer, treating malignant ascites, uh, hyperproliferative, hyperproliferative disorders such as macular degeneration, and even in animal health. So this, this approach actually gives us a platform for drug discovery rather than just a single drug. This is our uh, present value prediction. Uh, based on revenue at eight years with 20% market penetration and shows that, uh, in fact, uh, an investment made uh, early in the company, uh, one million on a $5 million valuation, can achieve a value of 420 million present value by year uh, five. Our, we have a stellar scientific advisory board, including Dr. Dan Von Hoff, who is the, probably the world's leading expert in developing new cancer drugs, uh, Dr. Mark Garnick and Patrice Ryu, who are not only experts in disease, but also have very good business portfolios. And just to sum up, we believe that the advantages uh, of our approach are, first of all, that the natural mechanism will give better treatment. It's more likely to, be, uh, to produce a greater response. It's more likely that that response will be harder for the disease process to overcome and it's more likely to be a safe response, not to produce unwanted side effects. 
we believe that because we have a validated system, and we can't take full credit for this, obviously, but validated in terms of the disease potential, and also validated in terms of our ability to use the ACM to, to improve these peptides, to convert them into drugs, that we have a rapid and efficient way to get into the clinic with these and ultimately to get to market. We believe that the multiple biological effects give us a platform technology so that we are not a single company, a single drug company that lives or dies on the basis of one uh, uh, attempt, but that we actually can, after we uh, hopefully are able to um, get our first drug into the clinic and commercialize that, we have a place to go. We have a path forward with, with additional drug discovery programs. And we believe that our choice of our initial program in cancer and a, a significant unmet clinical need give us favorable uh, economics uh, to attract investors and to build the company. Thank you all very much.